All right, today we're gonna to be going over how to create the one by one Lego brick. Um, so first off, what we're gonna look at is we see that our Lego dimension is 7.8 by 7.8 by 9.6. So I'm just gonna uh, create this front face right here. Um, and first thing that you should do is if you go to this, uh, the three black lines up here um, for the document menu, um, go to workspace units and we're going to actually change our inch default unit to millimeters okay we'll say okie dokie for that um so on this sketch again i'm just going to create on my front face really doesn't matter which one you choose um and i am going to create this brick so i'm going to say um 7.8 and again since we change this to millimeters um, we don't have to type millimeter you can if you'd like um, and then for this one, it is 9.6 millimeters. Um, so if we look at our shape right here, we just did the 9.6 and the 7.8. Um, I'm going to kind of rotate this and we're going to say finish sketch and I'm going to go right to extrude. Um, we know that the thickness of our Lego is 7.8 millimeters and we'll say, okay. Um, so we've kind of have um, the, the overall shape of our brick, and now we're going to add our stud to the top. Um, so if we look at our you know directions again, it says our stud diameter is 4.8 millimeters, and the overall height of our stud is 1.7 millimeters. Um, our stud is going to go in the middle of the top face, so we're going to do a sketch on the top face. Uh, I'm going to grab a circle tool. Um, and again, it's like, oh, well, I can't really lock onto the center. So there's a couple things we could do. The first thing that we could do is we could just draw a circle, type 4.8 millimeters. And what we can do is uh, we can grab our dimension tool. And from our center point, we can go from either the top line, uh, bottom line, right and left line. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose first. I'll just do the top line. Um, and if we know that uh, our distance is 7.8, if we find half of that, that is 3.9 millimeters. And then we're going to grab our dimension again, center point to right line. That works, 3.9. And so now it's positioned perfectly in the center. Um, another thing that we can do that, you know, might go a little faster is if we grab our line tool. Um, and, you know, this will actually lock on to a center point. So I could just kind of draw a line from there to there. I could draw a line, yep, locks on center point again, there to there. And so now it's kind of like a little crosshair and I can actually now, whoop, I can click right in the middle of this with my circle tool. I can type 4.8 and now that's perfectly in the middle. Um, we could even grab our scissors tool and we could, you know, clean these lines up um, and delete these because we don't really need those anymore. We just need um, the circle. So we'll say finish sketch. We're gonna kind of rotate this a little bit and I'm going to extrude this 1.7 millimeters. And it's like, all right, hey, that looks pretty good. That looks just like a Lego brick, but there's one more thing we need to do, um, you know, for a Lego to snap into another Lego, this part needs to be hollow, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do for that is we are gonna grab our shell tool uh, we'll click on shell and we're going to click on the bottom of our Lego piece. And if we look, it says, note that the wall thickness is 1.2 millimeters. So we're going to type in 1.2 millimeters, enter, enter. And now we have our finished Lego brick. Okay. So this is the tutorial on how to create a Lego brick that is one by one.